Hey Trader, welcome back to another video today. We're going to be talking about Chart Trader again. This time we're going to be diving into the Chart Trader panel and specifically Chart Trader buttons. Talk about the eight buttons that come standard with Chart Trader, how they can be slightly customized, and some of the limitations that they have. And then we'll go into Quick Trade Ninja, how you can create and add custom button panels and custom style buttons to your Chart Trader for a more powerful trading set. So let's take a look. Okay, to get started, we're going to open up Chart Trader again by going to the top of our chart, clicking on the Chart Trader icon, and selecting the second option, which will open Chart Trader on the right sidebar. The sidebar consists of eight standard buttons, position and PL window, and selector options for your instrument, time and force, account, order quantity, and ATM strategy, and two rows which show the current ask price, the current bid price, and the number of contracts at those levels. So let's talk about the standard buttons with Chart Trader. The left side, top three, are buy buttons to enter long positions. The right side are sell buttons to enter short positions. The top two are market orders. So if you click the button, you will get a market order at whatever the next fill is. The sell ask and buy ask will place a limit order at the current ask. Buy bid or sell bid, you'll get a limit order at the bid price. So let's watch and see what happens if I click buy market. Order filled. I get completely full 10 contracts filled. Order filled. If I do a sell market, Order filled. it's the same. If I do buy ask, Order submitted. you'll see it does it at 58.22, which matches the 58.22. And I have nine as a limit order, and one happened to be filled just based on the current market dynamics. Order if filled. I buy bid, Order submitted. I have a 10 limit order at 21.75. 21.75 is the bid. So those are the options order that canceled. it gives me to place a limit order using a button at the bid or the ask or a straight market order. As you've seen, the close button allows you to close your open positions, flatten everything on the current chart. The other button is the reverse button, which takes your current position and reverses it from long to short or short to long. So for example, if I'm in a market filled. long, I'm 10 contracts long, but I can see that by my green 10 positions at 58.22. If I click reverse, reversing. I'm now 10 contracts short. Reversing. So it basically places two market orders, one to close your current position and one to open a new position. So what options do we have to customize? Well, unfortunately, not a ton. You can't customize where the orders will be placed. You're limited to the bid or ask for your limit orders or a market order. If you right click and click properties, this will pop up your chart trader options and you can customize the colors of the buttons. The action buttons are the bottom two buttons, the reverse and close. You can change the color. So I'll change those blue, buy buttons, green, and sell buttons, crimson. And you can see that changes the colors of your standard buttons. That's really about all you can customize on your standard chart trader buttons. The chart trader has a few other options here. We won't talk about these options on today's video, except for the PL display unit. This is a, the window right here that we talked about. PL display unit, you can display points, ticks, a currency, etc. And you can show your realized PL when flat by checking that. If you do that, this window, when you are flat, will show you the realized PL. Everything else we'll go over in future videos. Now that we're aware of how to use the standard chart trader buttons and really the lack of customization that we have with them, let's talk about Quick Trade Ninja and how you can add a custom button panel to your chart trader with custom buttons that can do a wide range of things based on your trading strategy and exactly what you want your orders to do. To do this, I will go to my indicators icon at the top. I will click on Quick Trade Ninja folder and I'll start with a button panel. The button panel needs to be placed as the first indicator, which will be the place for us to add our buttons. We need to give the button panel a number. I'm going to leave the default of one, and then you have the button panel position. The options are bottom or top. The bottom position is below your ask and bid price, this area down here. The top position is between your PL window and the instrument and time and force selectors. This is the top position. You can add two button panels, one to the top and one to the bottom. Next, I have my option for how many buttons per row. I have one, two, or three. If I have one, then I'll have a single button taking up the whole width of the chart trader. If I have two, it will look like the buttons up here at the top. And if I have three, I'll have three buttons across. The buttons are built with the QTN quick action indicator. I'm not going to go into exactly what the buttons do in this video. We'll go into that in future videos. I'm just going to accept the, the basics here and enable button. And this is where I assign it, the button panel number. This button is going to go on button panel one and call this button one. I can change the button color, the button label, 
color, the button font size, the button height. Now, when I apply this, you'll see I have my button one over here. Now let's add a button to our top section. Add another instance of a quick action. I'm going to enable a button. I'm going to call this one button two. It goes to button panel number two. I'm going to make this one crimson with white and I'll make it really small font with a really thin button. And you can see I, now I have my button here. I'm going to load a chart template that has button panels already configured so that you can see what a full configured button panel could look like. Okay, so I have this template loaded. My top panel has three buttons per row. There are taller buttons, larger font size. My bottom button panel has two buttons per row and they're all different colors, different colors of text. And you can see by the labels that I'm also able to make the buttons do much more specific things than just by by ask or by bid. I can definitely do a market order. I can definitely do a limit order at the ask or bid, but I can also do things like ask plus 10 ticks or ask minus 10 ticks, or I can do by the EMA, or I can do the previous bar high plus one tick. You get the idea. There's many things that you can do with these custom chart trader buttons, and you can also customize how they look and how they show up on your chart trader. So in future videos, we'll go over more of the specific actions and what you can do to configure them. But Hopefully this video helped you understand the options available to you through chart trader buttons and then how QTN can really provide you a extremely powerful trading tool that matches your specific strategy and style of trading. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please don't forget to subscribe so you can continue to receive these videos. Also, feel free to go to our website, which is linked in the description, where you can download a trial of QTN and start testing this out on your trading strategy. Thank you again for joining us and we look forward to seeing you in the next video.